Lee Capriva, District 3, South Dakota Young Farmer Rancher Committee. Uh, just making a video of baling some native grass hay. Uh, this is the area where we winter, winter the cows and calve them out in the spring. And it's planted the native grass and uh, it gets uh, beat down pretty hard in the spring. And this year, had a few more weeds than we'd like to have in our uh, grass stands, but we're, we're baling it up anyway. Um, here's kind of a look at the baler anyway. We have a monitor. Handy, that tells you uh, when you're ready to dump out a bale. And then back here is the baler. pickup on it and it picks up the windrow of hay and then it uh, feeds it in the baler. These rubber belts go around uh, make the bale into a round a round bale anyway. baler is a uh, inoculant or a preservative. It allows a rancher to bale the hay at a wetter moisture content than you would normally be able to. This year we haven't used the uh, preservative. The hay has been fairly dry and we haven't had much rain that we've been trying to uh, hurry up and get the hay baled up before the rain would rain on it. So, as you can see, it's a little bit dusty. That's good to know that the hay is dry and that dry hay will, will keep you know, wet hay molds and then you have issues with mycotoxins and uh, cattle don't do as well on moldy hay. We're just about ready to finish up this bale and then we'll kick it out here and make another bale. Usually go about uh, probably four and a half to six and a half miles an hour baling. Really the main limitation is how rough the fields are which uh, determines how fast you can go. As you can see on the monitor, we're getting relatively close. Looks like I need to get more hay on the left side, so I'm going to leave over put more hay on the left side of the bale quickly here before we get to 66.